Um, welcome back to these SketchUp tutorials. Um, so basically what we're doing today is, let's see, um, we're going to design a, a dock. Um, it's just looking. Yeah, I designed a, a dock previously and um, for a, a client at the restaurant. And what we're going to do today is uh, just take that dock and um, modify it for uh, a new project. So that's the beauty of, uh, that's one of my favorite things about 3D modeling is anything you can you design, you can, uh, <laughs> you can just uh, carve out pieces and apply them to uh, uh, new projects. So eventually I'm imagining you'll just have this huge, you know, personal database or even shared database if you, if you go into the, the web. And um, it's, it's kind of like coding in a sense where you can um, just Google parts of JavaScript and uh, PHP. Uh, so you, when you're coding something, it's almost never from scratch anymore. That's, that's for sure. So uh, let's see how fast we can do this. <laughs> I always, uh, un over I always um, overestimate the speed at which I can create these models. So, okay, so the dock design is pretty much the same, except, uh, let's see, it has a curve in it. So, yeah, the instructions for this uh, this dock design were that um, if you see where the mouse is, this um, property border here, this wall, it has to be parallel to that, and then it has to be 10 feet uh, beyond away from it, and then it, and just the design feature is that it curves 90 degrees uh, perpendicular to the run, so. Basically, it's going to follow this line with the mouse. Boop. Boop. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, it actually should be fairly easy to do. Huh. Yeah, much easier. And you can, uh, you can even anchor it to this um, these rocks here. So you could probably just drill some holes and... You know, attach your pilings and uh, be done with it. Yeah, really nice. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, turn this thing. So, first of all, this is this used to be going to an abutment, but um, I guess in this case it won't be. It'll be yeah. I guess you just um cut these pieces smaller. So this will be the the point that's on the rock. Um. Yeah, uh, and then maybe, so maybe just move that in. Okay. And then you probably either build a uh, stairs or maybe maybe a ramp would be more uh, efficient. You know, you know what you want probably want to do. I wonder, but maybe you would want to actually cut a path through these trees here, and just do one super long path, uh, so you could uh, actually 
you know, one super long path. So like if there's a, a storage shed or something, or, you know, you could uh, wheelbarrow your, your liquor down. It would probably go on grass. So you don't even need to make a path, really. You just need to make a path from the point that it's uh, going to the dock. So, so you don't want to roll the, your wheels on the rocks here. So, yeah, that, that would be a, a fun project. So let's look at this. So you can probably just delete those even. Yeah, and then okay. Okay, Nick. Just gonna represent the random slope that I think there is. Cool. Uh, let's see. So it's going to I think it was sixty feet out and then another sixty. So let's do that. Pick the beginning with your line. I always like to go back, make sure it's a green line, hold shift, and then zoom up. And so let's see where a good point to turn is. Um, let's see, 60. So maybe here? Yeah, okay. I'll just do a a little line down to mark the 60 line. Um, yeah, interesting. How do you make docks turn? <laughs> so let's see. Let's start from the top. So that th this is the first dock I've ever designed, which is you know is funny that it even worked, right? Um, but uh, I guess apparently docks really just aren't that hard to design. They're just decks, but the the supports are in the water instead of digging into the ground. But, um, yeah, so figuring out how to make a curve is probably going to be fun. Seven foot four and one six. Okay, that's a terrible measurement, but whatever. Now let's just do that. And then let's see. It's weird, it's like a, a glitch right now. Huh. A weird glitch. Never seen that before. Okay, so rotate and yeah, let's just rotate it. Looks pretty easy, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is this is what I don't understand. Like architects get paid like how much for this shit? You charge fucking twenty thousand dollars to design a dock. It's like this is nothing that a two-year-old with uh, you know Lincoln logs couldn't do. You know, you just give him a bucket of water and some Lincoln logs, and you tell him to make a way to get across, he's going to figure it out. Like, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. Like, good architects are definitely worth their money, but your average architect, I'm just like, I'm not impressed half the time. Like, what did you guys, you know, even spend that money to go to school for? Because, uh, you know, for the most part, they're not even making new designs. They're just um, copying and pasting old designs. 
but they you know they charge the charge the same premium, so very funny. Um, yeah, so how do you support that? Uh, program still glitching, but oh, oh, okay, that's really obvious and really easy. <laughs> so you've got it supported there and there, and there's um. What? Oh, it's, it doesn't even overhang? Oh, interesting. Huh. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, I guess we were going for the neat thing. You know, most dogs have an overhang, but I kind of like how it sits on the edge, you know. You trim it off. Seems nice for some reason. I wonder, we'll have to find out whether there's a reason they overhang or not. Okay, so. Cool. Uh, and then let's take it out 60 feet, I guess. And then let's make two of those. Now, uh, obviously I know that there is not a 60 foot piece of, um, I don't know what this is. Let's find out what we were using. 60 foot piece of two by eight wood. But, um, yeah, I'm just doing that to figure it out because you can, once you figure out how it works, you can do whatever to actually make it work in real life. Cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, dragging left is the best one. It selects everything it touches, and then you can just uh, can, uh, shift and deselect. Using the space as a spacer, always fun. Just to check I didn't double copy that, oh, that's fine. Something's got to be, let me close this. Let me make this big. No, I wonder why, I really want to know why. Why that's uh, cutting off like that. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. So what I wanted to do with this dock design that was kind of different is um, already we're using this special material. It's um, it is a composite. So uh, a composite wood. And what I mean by that is it's, it's wood, but it's wooden, like sawdust, like particles off the factory floor. And then it's combined with PVC or plastic particles, again, off the factory floor. And uh, they add some chemicals and additives. And what they'll do is they'll mix this all up into a mixture and form it. And they'll make a new product that is 
I guess basically made out of uh, recycled wood and recycled plastic. Um, oh wow, they are split up. Um, so that's what um, I'm pushing for the material for this this um, project to be. Uh, that you know the benefits are problem with wood like uh, con like like the problem with wood is uh, it rots like uh, since it's I guess it's um cellulose or uh, yeah like calcified cellulose and xylem and phloem vessels and fibers it's quasi organic or no it is organic because it has carbon by definition but um you know, it rots and mold gets on it, and it basically, you have to, you end up replacing it, even if you pressure treat it. So, this new product, you know, I've I've seen it last 20 years on um near the salt water. So, part of me thinks it would do great in salt water. Yeah, I might be wrong, but yeah be interesting to find out but it's definitely going to last more than wood so with wood you're going to have to replace the decking like it's going to get splinters and it's messed up like I, I cut my foot on a splinter last time i was at spanish wells basically lost a half gallon of blood it's more like a vampire steak but um yeah, the composite doesn't have that. So that's one way in which we're uh, trying to make this product, this, um, what is it? Make this project unique. Okay, so these are all components, cool. Um, another way, which I'm trying to figure out how to do right now, is um, I wanted to add, like most docks have a cleaning station. So you go fishing and there we go. Okay, cool. So these are all in individual groups for some reason, which is really weird. Explode. Um, now I'll make unique. There we go. Um, yeah, so most docks will have a cleaning station, like a board or something. And that basically helps to you know, you, you bring your fish uh, catch and you fillet it and you throw the guts in the water and the sharks come and eat it. And uh, it's a nice little system for keeping fish guts out of your house, um, out of your kitchen. So, you know, your wife or significant other or family or friends don't get upset with the smell of stinky fish. Um, yeah, and also it's a nice way to feed the sharks and watch them fight for scraps under the dock. But uh, the addition I wanted to do, and I, you know, I get this criticism because I do it with everything, <laughs> is uh, I wanted to add a bar to it. So I was thinking, just like they have in um, Arawak, uh, not Arawak Key, the under the bridge. Um, line feet. Yeah, right. Um, under the bridge where the the conch stands are, they have uh they have sort of conch shacks hanging off of the water, hanging off of the dock, and these are um cantilevered, and they're cool because all the conch stands. The guys, the conch vendors, will keep all their conch hang attached to ropes. Like they'll not punch a hole through the conch shell, and then they will uh, string them all up and keep them alive in the water. So so the, um, they keep them fresh until the moment it's time for your salad. So I was thinking. What would be cool is to sort of emulate this on a, a private dock, except also uh, do it with a bar. And uh, 
Yeah, it just you know reminds me of some of my favorite experiences with with uh, if you ever been to um, uh, the name escapes me. It's really embarrassing, but uh, Uncle Talus's conk stand right under uh, under the bridge where you could uh, drink a sky juice or watch him uh, you know feed some tourists some pistol over the water. So I think um, I think customers might like that if you could provide them that experience. Especially the bougie ones who might not want to go under the bridge. Uh, but who wants like a a simulacrum of that experience? A facsimile, whatever the word is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, so nothing is supporting those. Um, oh, okay, so this this actually seems pretty easy. It seems like you would just rotate these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funny, right? Like, really, really cannot believe architects get paid money to do their job sometimes. I, I mean... Obviously, someone's got to do it, but it, it, I think it's one of those jobs that is just way, way, way overpaid. I don't know. Maybe doctors. No, I'm not, I'm not sure which ones more are more overpaid because I feel like doctors is more technical knowledge, perhaps, but art is more of a creative work, so... I think you're going to, I mean, obviously you're going to see uh, doctors get uh, automated probably before architects get automated. But uh, even that is a question. Some of these softwares are, um, you can automatically design rooms and houses now once you, tell us, once you give them the specs. Unless you want something that's like completely unique. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I see what's going on here. Too far out. Wow, interesting. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that'll actually be the fun test for this thing, is um, see if we can design, see how quickly we can design this and still have, um, still have uh, town planning uh, approve it. I mean, that, that couldn't have taken more than 20 minutes just now. It's not like we were going on overdrive either. I mean, that's a that's a that's a dock, isn't it? Right. Your boats can come on the left or the right. Oh yeah, so that's what we wanted to do. Um, we wanted to see. Those don't look like they're touching. Oh, okay, they are. Oh, it's not touching this one. Um, yeah, and uh, these are in the wrong place. Okay. Hmm. 
cool. So what I need to figure out, I need to go to the client because um, this is where it comes off from the rocks. I have to go and ask them where the boats are going to attach. And oops. Um, so obviously this is all land, hot lava, hot lava over there. Uh, you can't go that way. Uh, I guess if it's a big yacht or something, you could uh, tie it up on this side here. Otherwise, you'd probably want to... I mean, this looks like the neat spot, because then you can get it from two posts if you come tie over here right in the corner. Let's see, maybe that's where you tie up your personal boat. Um, yeah, so where are you going to put this... Uh, the, the, the fish gutting place and the bar. Let's see. Mm. You know, I'm, I guess I'm starting to think that you're so close to land, it's actually, you might as well just build it on the land. Like, uh, you know, just on the on the rocks here, build some sort of, you know, uh, sit, seating area. All right, I'm going to talk to the client and find out what they want. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll get back and uh, see what the move is. We'll either whip this up and get it done, or um, design a cool fish gutting and uh, drink making area. So, all right, thanks for watching. This is uh, the first dock design episode, uh, and we have plans and uh, additions to come.